Hello guys and welcome to a new walkthrough. This is the game that most of you voted for me voted on for me to do. So and I've always wanted to do this for a long time, so this is a game that I'm going to be doing right now. The game that I'm going to be doing is and we're going to choose the language English because that's the easiest to understand. The game is no, do not check the memory card now, but I'm just going to say what it is. That was a fail. The game is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1, as you can see right there. And a flying sword angler in the background and Hogwarts as well. That looks very nice. So what we can do now is that we're just going to start the game. And we're going to start a new game. So now we're going to choose autosave. And now we're going to go into a cutscene with Stephen Fry as the narrator. He's going to be the narrator for the whole game, which is very, very enjoyable. So that is going to be awesome. So enjoy the opening cutscenes of this game and I'll see you after them. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent to someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house. The burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Beds empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the ghoul is locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, 
you need to press the X button to cast. Try and flipendo these crates with your knockback jinx. Remember, press the X button to cast. Finally, I can talk. Basically, we're just going to use knockback jinx on these crates, cast it with the cross button, and then to cast a powerful one, hold it in. Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear. Mum's really not happy, and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up to it and use the up directional button. OK, your turn, Harry. Push into the small crate to climb on top and then run over the gap to auto jump. But we're not that old fashioned, Ron. We're not using the directional buttons, we're using the analog mode. Yeah, I hate the directional buttons, but now we're just going to go in through the open attic window and we will try and stop the goal from dropping the pipes over the attic floor because it's driving Mrs. Weasley mad. Right, we need to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes and it's driving Mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Right, Harry, let's get to it. So we just have to move this chest to pick up all of the pipes. You have to pick up 60 and that will basically be it. And then you're done with the ghoul, basically. I'm not the best at this. I've I missed like one or two or three pipes. It's, that's not like super bad, but I'm usually very bad at this because this is not thing. This is something that I'm not usually very good at, and that happens quite a lot in this game as well. Now I think this chest is really uh, um, cute. It looks very beautiful. And something I'm going to say about the goal: you only see goals. As I've noticed two times in the Harry Potter games, is in this game right here and then in Prison of Azkaban on the PlayStation 2 when you're saving Neville from the goal in the Muggle Studies classroom. But that is basically the end of the goal, and yeah, that's basically it. Nice work, Harry. That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the goal. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now, I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Uh, right, let's go find Dad. So now we need to go and find Mr. Weasley because we're going to denome the garden. So we're going to follow Ron through this gate right here. But we have something to do before Mr. Weasley. leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx so we can get through the gate. So Mr. Weasley leaves his junk everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we're just going to use the knockback jinx, the fully powered one, to get rid of all these crates so we can go through the next gate and continue on with our adventures at the burrow. Harry, come on, let's go and find Dad. And now we're going to go through this gate right after Ron. 
before we actually get to Mr. Weasley, we have another thing that we're going to be doing. Uh, we run into Ron's sister, Ginny, his only sister, Ginny. So now we're just going to learn some stuff from Ginny. Hey, look, Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a pass game. Making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs skein over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs skein over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio magi, Press the select button. This will show you the Folio Magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches and wizards cards. The silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. So we're going to lead this puff skein over to the bushes and it'll eat them, give us beans and eventually also give us a wizard card. The puff skein, I believe, is actually in the Fantastic Beasts of Where to Find Them book. I think it is. I am pretty sure of that. And that is actually very cool. And yeah, if we will get a wizard card from doing that. And to, re to make the puff skein smaller, we just have to hit him with the puff, with the knockback jinx. I can't talk today. Famous Witches and Wizards card. Felix Summerby. Best find Bron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. Ginny runs really weird. She does. So now we are going to go and see Mr. Weasley. And yeah, to go to Miss Weasley, we're just going to go through this gate and then we will be there hello harry i'm arthur weasley i was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden it's just through the gate but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes unfortunately i seem to have lost them under all this junk use your wingardium leviosa spell to charm and move the junk holding the x button levitates each piece of junk Use your directional buttons to move the junk about and press the triangle button to drop it onto the rocks and break the junk up. Could you charm them and drop them onto the rocks, please? Maybe we can find those gloves. I know I left them around here somewhere. So this is exactly as last year in Fluffs of Stone when we lured Wingardium Leviosa. We're going to use this bell and we're just going to charm these objects and drop them on the rocks. So we can find the denoming gloves. Right, yeah, thank you, Mr. Weasley, for that. And it's always the denoming gloves are always in the last object that you break. That's right, Harry. Keep going. So it's going to be in this box. So then, after we've cracked it open, we will get the denoming gloves. Yay! Well done, Harry. Nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we denome the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. So see you in part two when we will denome the garden. See you then.